Hey everyone, Ashley here with Scraps, Buttons, and Bows, and I have got um, a project share for you guys. I guess it's a project share, but I also want to let you guys know that they're currently available in my Etsy shop, and I will put that link in the description box down below. Um, these are journals. They are um, a version of a Midori Traveler's Notebook. That is what I was inspired to make these from. They are made out of craft text which is a paper fabric that works like fabric. You can wash it, you can iron it, you can cut it, sew it, stitch it, paint it, you name it, you can do it to it. And um, it's very strong, and it holds up very, very well. Um, so all of these are um, hand-done. They're arted and, and drawn and stenciled and um, just kind of something that comes out of my head. <laughs> Um, these are the regular size um, in comparison to a Midori um, Traveler's Notebook. These are exactly what a regular size Midori would be. Um, I did actually give it a 10, if it was laid out flat, it's 10 inches wide, 8 and 3 quarters tall. And these are painted on both sides and sealed, and it gives it a really thick, nice feel to it. I absolutely love it. So they are sealed. You can wipe them um, nice and protected. This one is a black background speckled with white and then um, I did these feathers with a, um, they're all metallics in a teal, a gold, and kind of a bronze metallic. So it does have some shininess to it. If I had the proper light you guys could see what I was talking about. Um, and then this one they all have, these two in particular have got a lined notebook in the middle. These and um, the black notebooks, I just think it ties so well. On the inside, it's just the white speckled background. Um, and they've got a bookmark with a dream catcher on it. I thought it was quite fitting with the feathers. So uh, there are two of those, and they are different. It was the same painted sheet, but I cut them up. And there are two small versions of this as well, and I will do a video on the small ones next. Um, I have a ton of small ones, so that one's going to be a longer video. But they are listed in the shop currently, and I, again, like I said, I'll put the link down below. This one, I have a whole bunch of notebooks that are already made with a patterned cover. And so this one in particular has four notebooks in it, and it is using the patterned paper that I had for notebooks. Um, this one is not sealed on the inside, it is sealed on the outside. This was one of the very first ones I had ever done. And again, the flowers are drawn by me, it's all stenciled and, and um, sealed on the outside. It's got the elastics. The ones that are sealed on the inside, um, this one right here also has eyelets. I have since stopped doing that. I have moved on to no eyelets and putting it on the spine and sealing on the inside and the out. So this is exactly how they're going to be from here on out. Sealed inside and out. Um, the elastic will be on the spine. And the reason I have done that is because they're now reversible. Um, one of the prints, like this one, um, this is sealed on the inside and out. This is a star one. It's got some swirls. This was my, um, oh, what did I call it? Oh, it escapes me right now, but it was an ode to a uh, Van Gogh painting. And um, on the inside, it's a total different pattern. This one is uh, clocks and numbers and totally different cute. So by putting this on the spine and by not using eyelets, you can now reverse this and just pull the elastics out and have a journal that is now this direction. So it's an interchangeable kind of patterned journal. You can do front and back, This, especially on this one, they're not dire directional. Um, so for the star one, interchangeable, reversible. For the, both of the feather ones, completely reversible. You can have the starry um, white splatter on the outside instead of the feathers, but the feathers are gorgeous. Um, like I said, this one is not reversible. It does have the eyelets and the tie is on the back. This was one of the first ones I had ever done. Um, and I believe this one 
is actually sold. So I can make more of these if this is a pattern that you like, but this one's actually sold. So <laughs> just set that one aside. Um, this one, these two in particular, are both sealed on the inside and the outside. And these have craft notebooks in them. And um, they also will have a bookmark charm. These ones have got these cutouts. It's like a decoupage with butterflies. There's um, some newspaper print, which you probably can't see that right now because it, with all the layers and stuff over it. And then it was stenciled, and I did draw on. And so it has a whole bunch of these butterflies. My camera is going to show you a red and a nice orange. This is a bright pink. It is like this kind of pink, but... Um, a little bit. I don't know why this butterfly keeps showing up as red. It is pink. And um, and this is a nice orange. Uh, this one as well would be interchangeable. However, I think that bending the um, butterflies the other direction would not be a good thing. So I would keep it as it is and just not make it interchangeable. And same goes with this one. They have a nice round to them. They feel just so good with the sealers on there and stuff. They're just so nice. So I, there's those two. This one um, is done with a Delusions Paints. And um, this is the inside. This one feels a little bit stiffer for some reason. Well, I know the reason because I didn't use the gesso on this one before I put the paint down because it was a white craft text. Um, it didn't, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt it at all. Um, it is sealed on the inside and the out and it does have three notebooks in it and, um, a heart charm at the very bottom. This one does not have eyelets, but the thing is on the back. This is as my evolution of these were building. This is it. This is what happened. <laughs> they all grew. So, um, yeah, this one is in the store too. And then um, one of my first interchangeable, well, these ones are not interchangeable, actually, because they have the eyelets. If you were to reverse it and put it the other way, you would have the back side of the eyelets. But, so these ones have the gold eyelets. This one has the snaps. It's kind of, It feels like a clutch. It's so nice. I just, I wish I could explain the feel of these. They feel so nice. Um, but this is sealed on the inside and the outside. It has... Um, three notebooks in it and it has a moon charm because there's like stars on it and stuff so and this one was hand painted and stenciled as well and I did use metallics just to give it that extra little sparkle and on the inside it is just the paint with the little dots so that's it for um, some of the big journals uh, I will have more of the big journals coming out. I did sell quite a few today, so um, before I could get this video up. Um, so, but like I said, I can do a pattern like this again. Um, I'm definitely doing more of the flowers. It's um, one of my by far absolute favorites. So, um, thanks for watching, you guys. And again, I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. Pop on over and take a peek. If you don't already follow my um, Etsy shop, uh, follow it. And then when I list new things, you should get notification, but we'll see how that works. <laughs> Bye everyone.